see right there. Explain to you what's going on. Okay, um, like I said, my name's Steve Nelson, I'm a detective with the Petaluma Police Department. Um, first thing I'm going to do is uh, explain to you your uh, Miranda rights, okay? Okay. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to the presence of an attorney before and during any questioning. And if you cannot afford an attorney, one will be appointed for you free of charge before any questioning if you want. Okay? So, I'd like to talk about what, what happened today. Okay? Um, let me just want to just confirm some information about you. Your name is Maurice Wolin. Okay. Yes. If, if I can yes. have you verbalize. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Um, and you live at 304 Scenic Avenue in Piedmont? Yes. Okay. And your birth date is 228 of 58? Correct. Okay. What um, or screen name do you use? really need to have an attorney I think present okay okay um, can you tell me what's gonna happen what's gonna happen um, you're being charged with uh, I believe I believe uh, attempt lewd acts with a child under the age of 14 and uh, burglary burglary yes okay. stealing what by entering the dwelling that you did okay so at that point, I'm going to bring you back over to booking. You'll be transported to the Sonoma County Sheriff's. Am I going to jail? Uh, yeah. Okay. Steve, I've never done anything wrong in my life. Ever. You know my record. Okay. I've never had more than a traffic ticket. What happens when I get to the Sonoma County Jail? Uh, they'll talk to you whether you can arrange bail or or anything like that. Other than that, you'll probably be in jail until Tuesday uh, for arraignment. I didn't do anything. What did I steal? Okay, that's what I told you. It's not about stealing. What did I? Okay. What did What did I take? Okay. Let me just stop you for a second. You asked to talk to an attorney. Yes. Okay. I'm not going to discuss this further because I can't. Okay. Unless you want to waive your right to have an attorney present. Can I call my wife? Uh, you will be able to make a call later on. I need to call her now. Okay. I, I'm not going to base this on... Do you still want to have an attorney present? I will answer what I can. Okay. So again, I just want to make this clear that um, you do not wish to have an attorney present that you want to talk to me about what happened today. But I, I may decline to answer if I think it's incriminating. Okay. Maurice. I'm, I, I'm not going to play games I'm here. not playing games. I'm scared out of my mind. Right. And I, and I understand that. You saw my record. I've never done anything wrong in my life. Okay. And now I'm being charged with very serious offenses. Okay. There's rules I have to go by. The fact that you've asked to speak to an attorney, okay, I have to visit that. And I have to respect your constitutional rights. All right, let's talk. Okay. So I just want to clear, you want to talk to me without the presence of an attorney. But I'm also making clear that I'm not going to answer things that I think could damage me. What screen name do you go by? Um, I use Tall Dreamy Dog. Okay. Is that uh, a Yahoo? Yes. Website? Okay. Okay. Why did you come to uh, the house in Petaluma today? Um, I, 
was curious. Okay. Curious about what? Um, I chatted with someone online. She had um, asked to meet me on several occasions. I declined. Um, then today again she asked. I had a little bit of time, not very much, okay. because I have to be home to pick my wife up. And so I thought I would come out and meet her and nothing more. Okay. And how old was the person you were chatting with. I'm not sure. How old did she tell you? I don't remember. So she, you don't know? You don't remember? I don't remember. Okay. I know she was young and I know that... Under 18? I'm not sure. Okay. How old are you? 48. 48? 48? Okay. Do you remember the, the person, the name of the person that you were coming to visit? Willow. The male, female? Female. Female, okay. And uh, what location were you coming to? Um, I don't remember the address. Do you remember the street name? I don't. It was in Petaluma. Okay. Did you write it down, directions or anything that you... I wrote it down earlier okay. when she gave it to me. Okay. Is that in your car? I don't know. Okay. All right. And what made you think that the girl was under 80? of 18? Um, she was young. I I don't remember exactly what she said. I do know that um, I didn't um, intend to do anything because I didn't have any time and I was just, I was, to be quite honest with you, just curious. Okay. When you were chatting with her, uh, do you remember her screen name? Positive. She messaged me a couple times too. Okay. Okay. Um, what I'd like to do is maybe I can refresh your memory. Um, did you ever talk about? I mean, what kind of things did you talk about in the chats? Just, just playing. What kind of playing? Just, just talking. Okay. I don't remember the specifics. Do you remember when you started chatting with her? What date? Uh, it was either yesterday or the day before. So yesterday would have been the... Oh, wait. 25th? Maybe yesterday. 25th. Um, do you remember talking to her on the 23rd of August? So that would have been uh, Wednesday? No. Okay. Did I? Yeah, there's chats here. You're talking tall, dreamy, under slash, doc. That's you. Talking with I, Willow Filipino. I don't, I don't remember it being. Um, actually, she wanted me to come visit her, okay. and I didn't want to come. What What name do you use besides Tall Dreamy Doc? Do you use a, another name, like a false name that you use when you meet people? I have a nickname. What's that? Mo or Marco. Marco. Okay. And then if you told her that you were Marco in San Francisco. That would have been accurate? I suppose, yeah. Okay. Um, then on August 24th, you're chatting with her, and you tell her, I'm Marco, by the way, in San Francisco. She said, thanks, I'm Willow. Okay. Um, I'm in the 707. I'm 13 female. What's your ASL? And then you say, oh, goodness, I'm 29. Sorry. Is that accurate? I don't remember. But would that be accurate that you... I don't I, remember. I mean, does anybody else use your computer? I, I don't I don't know. I don't remember those that, those words. I don't remember her okay. age. But obviously you knew she was under the age of 18, so... I knew that knew she was young. Okay. Did you ask her if she dated older guys? I don't remember. Okay. Did you talk to her about touching and kissing and making each other feel good? I remember she saying that she had trouble finding somebody to make her feel good. Okay. I was playing with her. And then you uh, typed to her, I wouldn't stop until you came over and over. I remember saying that. Okay. Um, any 
talked to her about kissing her chest. I don't remember. Uh, just a question, a phone number, 510-402-4023. Uh, Where's that? Uh, one of my clients. Okay, so it was just a phony number you gave? No, no, it uh, wasn't phony. Okay, so it's a real number? It's a way to get a hold of you? Um, no, no, it's, uh, I don't know. I don't. I don't know what number it was. I mean, it's not my home, my cell. What's your cell? Four one five. Two four four one four two two. One four two two. Officer Nelson, can I call my wife? Okay, you'd be able to call her when we're done. Do you remember when she gave you the address of where she lived? Um, no, but I know she wanted me to come yesterday, and I told her I wouldn't. Okay. And uh, did uh, how was she? Did she tell you how she was able to have you come over? She said she was alone. Okay. Do you know where her parents were? I, I can't remember. She said her mother went away or something. How about her father? Okay. She begged me to come over. I mean, I don't know how you guys... I mean, if you read, so, when I told her I wouldn't come, she said she was begging me to come. Okay. On uh, August 24th, so that would have been uh, Thursday, uh, you said, Willow, I would like to, but I could get in trouble, meaning, yeah. you know, for her coming yeah. over. Okay. So that's accurate you said that? I don't remember. Okay. And then you told her, no, I'm real, but you're under 18 and I'm over. We would have to be so careful. I don't remember saying that, but I told her that she needed to be, I was concerned about her, she needed to be careful. Okay. Do you remember talking to her or asking her, do you like the French? Um, I don't remember. Okay. Did you ever see a picture of her? Um, I think she has pictures. So you, you commented about her body looking yeah. pretty hot. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I don't remember. And then you asked her what bra size she wore. And she said 30B, but it kind of big on me right now. I can still grow it. Um, I don't remember her saying that. Okay. I mean, saying that you would kiss them. I don't remember. I remember saying her to be careful and she can get into trouble and she shouldn't do be doing this okay. and that's why I didn't come and the only reason I came today I was curious but I wasn't going to do anything I had no intention to do anything and okay. if you read that you can tell that over and over again I said that well if I shouldn't come she should be careful but I'm also reading, and, 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 I, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, you're talking about um, that you want her to take your pants off. Um, when? You talk about, you know, what will you wear? I don't know what, whatever, whatever's clean, something sexy. And you said, will you take it off for me? And then you ask her that you want her to take your, your her pants off also. Uh, you can you can take mine off if you want. I wasn't going so to how do, do you want to do it? I wasn't going to do anything. Okay. I, I'm but just you're telling, here, here you're telling me you're concerned I, for her welfare. But you read on, and I was playing with her. It was a mis That was not appropriate. But then when you read on, I say over and over again that she shouldn't be doing this. I can't come see you. She begs me to come. Officer Nelson, I I shouldn't have talked to her. You're right. I wasn't have, going to do anything. Have you ever done this before? No. Never? Never met a 13-year-old? On the internet, yeah. Never. No. I mean, you told her you were a doctor. Officer Nelson, you have to believe me. I would never have done anything to her. Okay. Can we 
stories. I, I'm just reading your chats, and, and you know, you're talking about being concerned for her, and you're asking her, "Will you suck me?" And uh, I want you to taste me. Did you say that? I don't remember. Okay, you know, I, I don't remember, but I never would have done anything to her. And then you but, show up. I mean, where do you live? Piedmont. How long did it take you to get here? Forty minutes. Where's your wife right now? Uh, at a party. So where does she think you're at work? No, I told her I would go out for a little while. I never and would have done anything. I never had I any mean, don't you think I didn't have time to do anything, first of all. Second, I think you can read a lot out of that, I agree. And I don't claim to have said all of it, but you also read that I didn't want to come, that she begged me to come over and over again, and I was curious. That was all. So what would have happened if you saw her there? Nothing. So you drove 40 minutes from Piedmont to meet a 13-year-old. I didn't know she was 13. That nothing would have happened. That's right. Can you expect me to believe that? The after, truth. after you talk about having it's the truth. different sexual it's the truth. acts with her? It's the truth. She begged me to come. And I know that doesn't make it right, but I never would have done anything. What kind of computer were you uh, conversing with her on? Uh, Mac. The laptop or yeah. the yours? Where is that uh, computer home. right now? At home. At home? Does that anyone else have access to it? Yeah. The chores? Yeah, everybody has access to it. Okay. Who else is in the house that? We have two kids, a wife. Okay. I never would have done anything. Any other computers besides the Apple? In a home or being used by me? Yeah. I'm sorry. Both. Oh, we have three other computers. At home. But I don't use the other ones very much. Are they desktops or yeah. desktop? Is there any uh, child pornography on your computer at this point right now? No. No. Any adult pornography? No. Is there any child pornography in the house? No. No. I'm not into to that stuff. Um, in your vehicle, there was some lingerie in the back. There was? Yeah. It's not my car. It's my wife's car. It's your wife's car? Okay. So it's hers. What size bra or um, chest size did your wife have? Uh, 32C, I think. I don't know. It's her stuff, though. It's not mine. Okay. How big is your wife? What do you mean? Size-wise. I mean, bra size? No, I, size. I, I mean, is she five... How tall? Uh, How much does she weigh? She's like five seven, weighs one thirty. Okay. So you didn't bring any of that lingerie for absolutely not for Willow. Absolutely not. Okay. There was really I, I didn't even know there was yeah, what, what was there. It was in the back seat. What was there? The lingerie. No. I don't believe that. Okay. We don't carry lingerie in our car. Okay. You sure it's not kids' clothing? It, it's not kids' clothing, okay. Did you send her any pictures? No. Is this a picture of you? Yeah. Were you wearing a wig? Uh, I just had my hair done differently. When can I speak to an attorney? So, so at this point, is there anything else that you'd like to talk about? No. I mean, what can I say? Okay. All right. The time's approximately 14.38 when I conclude the interview. Can I call my wife? I'll walk you over to the trailer. Where will I be pushing? Uh, we'll discuss all that with.